We're going up the backdrop and under the hood at the world's first ever all-electric ride spectacle. Welcome back. One of Studio City's main attraction is their Electron Show. And there's a lot that goes into it. It takes months of work to pull this stuff off night to night, including a cast from all over the world. We got the chance to go backstage. Let's see what goes into this 75 minute performance. We're going behind the scenes at the all electric car powered stunt show produced by Stufish, which also engineered the rides. It's a world first on par with James Anthony Bailey of Bottom and Bailey's fame's first introduction of electricity to circus goers in 1879. We got a hold of a champion stunt biker and a world renowned aerialist. But first, let's check in with the drivers. All the cars here are also custom made, whether it's on one wheel, two wheel, four wheels, or 12 wheels. Electric cars on the market don't really quite cut it here, so they basically custom built their own rides. Nothing here is off the shelf. You might recognize some of these chassis. They got fair ladies, Ford Focuses cut in half. Things that look a lot like the ATVs, but much cooler that we rode in Ganjo. Motorcycles, dirt bikes, bicycles. It's got a lot going on. It's got everything. Clown acts, aerial aspects, all tied together with a Mad Maxine show that still has plenty of laughs. It's a lot of fun and you meet some really great people and uh, it will take you all around the world. Hi, my name is Andrew Burton. I'm a professional mountain bike trials rider from Great Britain. I never really thought I would do it full time. Um, I started riding when I was in school, when I was a teenager. When I left school, I got a job at the age of 16 and left home. I started working in a bike shop as a mechanic. Asked to do one show and then from that show got another show. Just made a living out of riding bikes and that was 13 years ago. Um, it can be really difficult when there's a good crowd. You know, it's absolutely awesome. As soon as you ride out within about 10 seconds, you get the crowd going crazy and you're like, yeah, I want to ride now. Actually, the old man that you just interviewed, like, I saw him doing a show when I was about 11 or 12. <laughs> we're different generations. <laughs> To be honest, uh, the costumes, they were quite different. When we turned up here, we had fluorescent leggings and you know, really crazy stuff, and then learning to put makeup on. That is something really out of my comfort zone. So when they started telling us to put makeup on, I didn't know what to do. It was going everywhere, like couldn't get it off. Eyes are stinging, so that's been quite a challenge. More of a challenge than anything else, probably. <laughs> Hi, I'm Owen Gawthorpe, and I'm a professional trials rider from Great Britain. At times it can be like a sensory overload with five different acts going in the background. They have core break dancers and a very talented cast and production team that brings it all together. So why should I run away and join the circus? <laughs> That's kind of uh, what happened to me. I'm from a normal family. None of my family is doing circus. I just started as a hobby and then it just took me away. Something that you have to have the passion for, but if you do it, the best life there is. Hi, my name is Lina Aunola. I come from Finland. The skills, it's easy to understand what it takes, but when you do the actual show, there's so much more to it, to create that moment and that image and make that magic happen. There's so many things from the costume and then the lights and effects and everything, and also to be able to do it every day or twice a day and to actually make all those little things come together to create that magical moment. It's the moment when I step on stage, it's a different war where you're focused and everything else, you know, your worries, your stress, that gets left behind. Once you're on stage, you can push so much more than you could in a rehearsal when they're there and they're watching and they're waiting and you're ready to go live. It's not just the skill and it's also not just the showmanship, it's, it's those things together. And there you have it, backstage at the Electron Show. They've been refining it since January and it's not going to be here forever. 